Hey everyone, I'm Desiree from Reek and Vegan and we are on Facebook Live. So um, I'm just going to wait a minute to see if anyone joins in on the broadcast. But uh, let me explain what we're starting to do now. We are pretty much doing live blog posts. So I'll come in every once in a while and do a live blog post on either a wellness topic or just doing a recipe demonstration of one of my recipes on reganvegan.com and also providing you with tips on uh, how to transition into a plant-based lifestyle. So right now, um, I'm the founder of reganvegan.com and pretty much my job is to help people just like you who are interested in learning more about a plant-based diet help you transition and give you the tricks and the just to how to live a more plant-based lifestyle. So today I'm going to discuss uh, what the differences are between someone who is a vegetarian, a vegan, and someone who is plant-based. Now a lot of people think that they're one of the same, but they're actually different. Now they do have their little differences, but uh, I'll explain those to you right now. Uh, the first one is a vegetarian. Now a vegetarian is somebody who doesn't eat any meat, so no chicken, no pork, no beef, but they do uh, consume animal byproducts. Now animal byproducts are things like cheese from, from cow's milk, uh, eggs, honey, things like that, that the animal was not necessarily killed to get, but they do have some uh, part in the production process. Uh, so there are actually uh, vegetarians who still eat fish and those are considered pescatarians. And when I started my uh, plant-based journey, I started off as a vegetarian because I thought I couldn't live without cheese and eggs and things like that. So I, I decided to take it a slow approach because I couldn't do a, co a cold turkey. So I, you know, continue to not eat meat, but I still incorporated cheese and eggs into my diet. But the longer I stayed a vegetarian, I began to slowly eliminate eating cheese and eggs. And now with a huge variety of vegan cheeses and now a vegan egg, there's really, you can just totally eliminate that and still have the, the craving uh, you know, you could still satisfy your craving for cheese and eggs and things like that. Uh, but basically things like, uh, let's say like a grilled cheese sandwich is considered a vegetarian dish. It doesn't have any meat in it, but the cheese does still does come from cows. So in order to become a vegetarian, you still need to know where your products are coming from. If they're coming from, a, you know, a, a, still an animal or completely from plants. Now, I see we have some people on, on the broadcast. Hello, everyone. If you want, if you have any uh, questions or comments, you could put them in the comments section and I'll if you, uh, answer any questions you have. Uh, the next type is uh, vegan. Now, everybody, every time somebody hears the word vegan, they go crazy. So what a vegan does is they don't eat any meat or any animal byproducts. So they will never eat anything that came through an animal, around the animal, if the animal was involved in the production of it, they won't they won't even eat it or they won't consume it. So all right, Veronica, vegan, yes. <laughs> so vegans also take it a step further. So it's not just about not eating meats and animal byproducts, but it's also about animal rights and fighting for uh, the tr ethical treatment of animals. Because a lot of animals are, you know, not treated well in the production of a lot of the products we eat or even use on our bodies. So they take it further as, you know, we're not gonna uh, buy any makeup that was tested on an animal or we're not gonna use anything that, you know, came from the animals. Uh, if it's like an ingredient came from an animal for your shampoo, they will not even use the shampoo. So things like that, uh, shampoo and conditioners, makeup, uh, body lotions, uh, even the clothing you wear. Vegans, if the animal, if it was leather, forget it. They're not going to deal with that. So uh, basically vegans take it to a step further for the rights of animals and 
there is a fine line between uh, what they consider a healthy vegan and a unhealthy vegan. Because there are some vegans that, yes, they you know want to fight for animal rights, but they're also health conscious. So they'll have a lot of you know they'll eat a lot of uh, salads and keep healthy foods by them. But the unhealthy vegans, um, sometimes they'll, their mentality is, as long as they didn't come from the animal, I'm eating it. So they'll tend to stick to junk foods and uh, processed foods, uh, which still have a lot of oil and sugar. So those are not necessarily, even though they didn't come from the animal, they're not, they're still not healthy for you. So, um, basically that's that's uh, the mentality of the vegans even though they're still you know we're fighting for animal rights but they it, they won't know what you know healthy eating habits they won't take uh, those into account now um if anyone's just joining us i'm going over the differences of a plant-based diet a vegan and a vegetarian so Veronica is asking, what do I think about products with palm tree on their, in their ingredients? Um, I know there's a big debate about the palm trees, whether, you know, they're being chopped down for, because they're going uh, extinct. But I, if it's palm tree oil, I try to, I, I personally try to stick, stay away from a lot of oil products because too much oil isn't really good for you, whether it's, you know, uh, vegetable oil or came from you know a, a plant-based source so I I mean I don't really try to cons consume a lot of palm tree oil or any other ingredients so the last uh, type is a plant-based diet so plant-based is basically similar to a vegan diet where the uh, person doesn't eat any animal byproducts or meat, but they eat, they choose to eat more nutrient dense foods. So uh, basically it's a lot of, uh, you know, kale, anything that has a higher nutrition, you know, nutrient density in it, they're gonna choose. So uh, people on plant-based diets completely stay away from processed foods. Unlike some vegans, some vegans maybe, you know, go back and forth between plant-based and still eating uh, processed foods, but they'll basically, plant-based will just eliminate that totally uh, because there are a lot of, like I said before, a lot of excess sugars, a lot of excess salt and oil. Uh, but basically, things that you can eat on a plant-based diet, I mean, you can still have dessert on a plant-based diet. It's just gonna be naturally sweetened with maybe some dates or stevia as opposed to white processed sugar. Uh, but basically, I that's I choose to be on a plant-based diet. It's worked for me. I used to have um, allergies. Basically, I used to break out in hives and have um, dry skin patches that would just come out on my body randomly. I didn't know what the cause was. I didn't know if it was because, you know, I was stressed out at work or anything like that. I, uh, I started researching plant-based diet. I saw how a lot of people wanted, you know, they were curing themselves with maybe more severe diseases than I had. But I, I was like, you know what, I'm going to try this. I'm going to, I'm just going to see how it works for me. And it's, I mean, to this day, I don't get those dry uh, rashes or the, uh, or hives. And I was able to get off of allergy medicine that I was taking to control the hives. So uh, just basically eating nutrient dense foods. I ate a lot of, you know, salads, a lot of vegetables, a lot of mushrooms, onions, all of those, all of those pretty much cured me and now I, I when I I know when thinking back when I was a vegetarian when I would eat dairy products I noticed that those uh, dry rash skin uh, dry patches of skin would always come back whenever I consumed dairy products so I knew it was something I was allergic to in the dairy who knows what it is I still don't know what it is but I know something in the dairy is what was giving me those reactions so I know as long as I stood away from dairy I was I was gonna be fine and I'm still fine. I even lost weight. I lost 20 pounds eating a, just eating a plant-based diet that still stayed off. I'm now 
been on plant-based diet for over three years and it's i mean it's worked wonders for me i love it i i don't want to go back to my old eating habits why to go back on allergy medicine have dry skin patches i'd rather take you know the the clear skin that i have now so basically i know that a plant-based diet works for me and i know it works for anyone who would who was willing to make that change and and i know it's a hard change because for me i had to do it alone nobody in my family eats the way that i eat and it's hard to be in a household when there's a lot of uh, people eating either junk food or your old favorite meat dishes but i know if i um i know that i was able to get through that and i know i could support anyone else who wants to make this change so um i started the uh spark program basically it's a six week online coaching program if you want to transition to a plant-based diet if you are interested i have openings on my program if you want to schedule a strategy call with me you go to reconvegan.com slash apply i'll also put the link in the in the uh comment section at the end of this post but uh basically it's i i, I love plant-based diet it's worked wonders for me i know it could work wonders for you but you don't have to be alone in your transition i want it you know i know the benefits of it of it and i i can't speak more more about it but it's just it gives you so much energy that you never had before that you even think you could have without you know some type of supplement or coffee drink or anything like that but um if you are interested you can work the spark program it's a six-week program you work one-on-one -on -one with me and i guide you on your transition to a plant-based diet we'll work together see what you what you need if you have any um if you have any questions or anything like that we can schedule a, a strategy call so you can just go to reconvegan.com slash apply and submit your and schedule a conference call with me and we'll figure it out and i want to thank you guys for watching um please be on the lookout for more live blog posts uh coming soon and please share this video and like it so we can get more people aware of uh, what a plant-based diet is and just how so beneficial it is to your life. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye.